Hey, it's Luke with Out of Darts. This is my short dart jam fix for the Dart Zone Pro Mark III. Now, this has been copied on a few other shops, but I guess it's only natural when you come up with a good idea. Uh, this solves a really constant problem with all short darts in this blaster. And I'm gonna show you inside here exactly what's going on. A frequent issue that I've seen with this blaster is that due to this sloped pusher and the design of the pusher and just the tolerances I expect, after one dart goes into the flywheel, it's been really common for the next dart to pull back in. And you can see it, it just happened a tiny bit there. I'm gonna try to pull this out so you can see this, but essentially you can notice that that is no longer centered. So it got pulled back just a few millimeters, but that is enough to cause some massive issues. It will actually leave your pusher stuck in the forward position and then your flywheels will continue to rev. And I've seen these go all the way back to here and cause some really gnarly jam ups. So the solution is a small tab that inserts here. Now, if you got my initial tab that we first shipped right as the blaster goes, it just presses right in place. If yours is wide enough and it doesn't look like it presses in place, what you're going to want to do is take this, this screw out here and maybe loosen this screw just a little bit. You're gonna take your part, and this one's called, this one's V8, but uh, numbers may change in the future because we're always making improvement, but that's gonna just slot right in there, and those two fins are gonna stick on either side there. I ended up modifying this design just a little bit to uh, improve it because I like to improve things. <laughs> so to anybody that ordered these on the first batch, if you have a version that's not V8, I'd be happy to toss one in with any future order. We just ask that you don't request a replacement for for, for that if possible, um, but uh, we'd be happy to give you the current version. There's no difference to the actual geometry. The only difference is that this one physically cannot pull out and doesn't require glue. The original, I actually would probably recommend a small amount of glue. So now what happens is when you've got this magazine fully inserted, these darts get stopped. You can see there, there's just enough contact to stop the dart. This problem is actually more pronounced on talons. So you'll actually see that on the talons, they'll line up a little bit lower, but the effect is there. Um, when this is in the channel, the darts can push through fine and the pusher won't pull them back. Hope this has been helpful. Thanks for watching.